All right, what's going on, everybody? Broken Games HDR once again with another video. And this time we have an interesting rumor that just came out this morning. And this one comes from VGC, also known as VideoGameChronicles.com. And according to them and their sources, take it with a grain of salt if you want. Um, but I think Video Game Chronicle is usually pretty reliable. I think so. Um, according to their sources, Sony has switched the development of the Twisted Metal reboot to another first party developer. So back in December, if you if you remember, we uh, we learned. Well, there were rumors. It was never confirmed, but it seemed to be pretty true that Lucid Games, the, the developers of uh, all, uh, what is that trash game called? Destruction All Stars. You know the game that was originally supposed to be like sixty dollars, but then Sony made it free on PlayStation Plus, and uh, the game was dead within a week. Nobody played it. They had to patch in AI bots um, just for people to even get in an actual game because nobody playing it. You know. That, yeah, that game, the one that was very mid, very trash. So we learned back in December that they were going to be the develop developers of this new Twisted Metal reboot. Um, and now this rumor is saying that Sony had has switched development to another one of their first party studios in Europe. But it doesn't state exactly which first party studio. So let me just uh, read the article. So it says... Uh, Last year, VGC reported that Twisted Metal uh, would be in development by Lucid Games, you know, the Liverpool UK-based studio. Uh, but now it says, however, VGC has been told that the project has since ceased development at Lucid, according to their sources. And Sony has decided to instead move the series, the series revival to one of its first party studios in Europe. So even though it did not say which studio, everything is pointing towards their London studio, right? Because their other few studios that they have in Europe are busy with other projects. The only studio that we haven't heard anything about as far as like what they're working on, what they're, what they're developing is the London studios, right? So a lot of people think it's it's them also just just this morning this could be pure co coincidence right but just this morning from the playstation london studio twitter account they pretty much just made an announcement that they hired a new senior character artist but in that same tweet it also says uh this senior character artist will help create and shape the characters that come to life in our upcoming playstation 5 online game so if it's not London Studios, right, that means that London Studios themselves are working on some type of online game, which is which is great because, you know, one of the major complaints that I and many people have had about PlayStation is like, yo, where are the multiplayer games? Where are the online games? So either so London Studios is either working on Twisted Metal or they're working on their own online game, which, you know, is it's either ways either way you look at it uh is probably uh, a good thing right but let's look at london studios history real quick because mainly recently like all they've really worked on is some inexpensive like vr projects vr experiences well recently and then before that they worked they worked on very like you know the party games the gimmicky games like sing star uh PlayStation Home, iPad, SingStar Dance, SingStar uh, Guitar, a whole bunch of SingStar projects, um, I, I Toy games, you know, the peripheral games. That's what London Studios did for a long time. Um, they did make that Blood and Truth game um, back in 2019 for PlayStation VR, and they made PlayStation VR Worlds also. So, is it? I don't know if it's possible that Twisted Metal could turn out to be a VR game. I hope not. Even though I'm, look, even though I'm into uh, buying the next PlayStation VR, I don't necessarily want to the next Twisted Metal to be a, a a VR game. I don't want it to be that. I mean, I could see the craziness and the potential in that, but that's not necessarily what I want it to be. You know, I don't think. Uh, 
twisted I, I don't think that's what you want for twisted metal in my in my opinion right but it, it's possible that they're just not working on on a vr game if you remember london studios a long time ago um there there was a merger i think th they merged two studios i think it was like team soho and another studio and then that created uh london studios and and team soho was actually the original developer um for the getaway which was one of my f i love that game i played it so many i played it so much on on ps2 and then they became london studios and then after that they released the getaway black monday which was the sequel i never got to play the, the getaway black monday i have i've actually wished that they could stop all this vr fodder and this eye toy fodder and playstation would actually allow them to make an actual you know full-fledged getaway game but i think i think like blood and truth was essentially a vr version of the getaway once again i never played it right so now we got to think okay is it is this even a good thing that because yes lucid games was was not necessarily a great developer we know that right we we didn't necessarily have the biggest vote of confidence in them after destruction all stars but at least they had some experience with that type of genre the vehicular combat game right london studios if it's london studios once again we don't know for we have no reason to believe, even though, you know, they're probably talented individual individuals, we have no reason to believe that they would be able to construct some type of amazing vehicular combat game like Twisted Metal. So I don't know if this is necessarily a good thing, right? Also, why would, as far as I can remember in recent history, I can't think of a time where a game was in development and, well, no, I can. I can, but it's rare where a game is said to be in development development by one studio and then it switches over to a completely other studio that doesn't happen a lot that's it's very rare and it's usually not a good sign of things it, it could be that the game was in development hell um it could be that uh you know they wanted that studio you know to f make the foundations of the game and then this studio was eventually going to take over i can't imagine that was always going to be the plan though so i just i just don't know all i know is it's it's unusual it's it's not normal it's peculiar right so i don't know if this is a good or bad thing i i i really i really don't um of course the the twisted metal uh move uh, not movie but tw twisted metal tv series is also in development said to be coming out like 2023 and they want this game to coincide uh with that tv show so that's one of the reasons uh they're rebooting it i i do think it's a positive thing that a first party studio because i i just i just think like the, the, the first party ecosystem at PlayStation, even though if it's London Studios, the, I don't necessarily see nothing in their resume that may make me think like they're the best suited for this. But PlayStation Studios as a whole and, and, and has a family, has a lot of like resources, has, has a lot of skill and has a lot of talent. So um, and London Studios is hiring. So even even if uh, they may not have like the history for this type of game they can hire for it. And right now they are hiring for, um, you know, different roles. And if they bring in somebody who's like experienced and an expert in this type of uh, genre, then I don't have any problem with it. But, um, you know, I'm just, I'm just being very skeptical and, 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 uh, you know, just, I'm, I'm a little, I'm, I'm, I'm concerned about it because I do like twisted metal. Um, I played all the twisted metals. I, I love the series and I want this twisted metal to turn out, good so yeah and yeah it, I'm, I'm looking at like because there's x deb as in liverpool who else is in europe um let's see uh no it can't be it's definitely not nix's um there's the malaysia studio but they're they're like a support studio uh who else um no it's definitely not no, I can't, I can't. Fire Sprite is in Liverpool also, but they're they're working on Call of... But Fire Sprite is a really big studio, right? 
I, you know, but they're working on that call of the mountain game, but they could work on multiple projects. I don't know. Because w- once again, we don't, we only just don't know what the hell um, London Studios is doing. The last game they released was 2019. Um, so I, I, I don't know. I, I, you know, I don't know. Um, I'm interested to hear what David Jaffe's take is going to be on this. Um, not that he has any insider stuff, but he's, he's been keeping up with, you know, uh, you know, with, you know, the development of this. And he's, I think he said he's at least spoken to the, to the guys, um, that, that are working on the movie or the development team at Lucid Games. You know, he, he has a, he has his, his finger on the pulse of kind of what's happening. So I'm interested to, uh, to see if this is true, if he, if he knows anything. Um, I don't know if, you know, this switch means that the game was going through development hell. It, it, it's, it's, it's possible. I don't know. Um, but it is, it's interesting. I'm hoping the game still, you know, comes out somewhat on time. Um, but, you know, you know what my intuition is telling me? My intuition is telling me that Lucid Games just kind of didn't know what they were doing. Like, I don't know, because because you don't just like snatch development from a studio, just just upend them like, no, you're not working on this anymore. Give it to somebody else. It, 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 it just doesn't make sense. Like, you don't do that for any good reason. If we being real, it has to be a bad reason that it that it that the change was needed. Something was not right. And. From what from what we know. From what I'm able to tell, this this game was still in very early development. So if and if that's the case, I'm glad they decided to switch switch this development um, early in the process rather than later. Right? It seems like they were a little bit, uh, you know, it seemed like they were proactive and not so reactive. At least it seems. I don't know from from the outside looking in. But let me know what y'all think about this. Uh, do y'all think this is a good thing? Do you think it's a bad thing? Um, because I don't know, I, I, I think it, it, it sometimes it's better to go with the devil, you know, you know, like, you know, you know, you pick your poison, you know, like, OK, it was lucid games. We're not exactly excited about them, but. We knew they had experience in the field, you know, London Studios or whoever we don't, you know, we don't know. We, we don't know. But let me know what your thoughts are. Hit the like button, hit the notification bell. Follow me on Twitter, uh, hit the join button to support the channel. And uh, yeah, all of that. Thank you all for supporting the channel. Um, don't worry, Weapon Wheel is going to come back soon. I can't say it's going to be this Sunday. We're going to be, gonna be back this month, though. And, and when we do come back, we're going to talk about all the stuff that's been happening. We're not going to only talk about stuff that's, that's happened in the past week. We're going to st- talk about stuff that's happened in the past weeks. We're going to cover it all. So yeah, I'm out of here, y'all. Peace.